Hello, my lovely Pisceans, and a very warm welcome to your September 2022 horoscope forecast. Next month, the eclipses begin, Mars goes retrograde, there's a lot happening next month. This month, in many ways, because Mercury will go retrograde from the 10th of September until October 3rd, this is a little bit of respite. This is a slower moving month. If you want to go more slowly, it's easier to accomplish with the energies of this month. Now with Mercury going retrograde from the 10th, do your best to sign important documents, leases, contracts before the 10th if you can. If you can't, then just check and double check and triple check anything that you do if it happens to fall during the retrograde. It's a great time for finding things that you've lost. Could be papers, could be keys, could be anything. Might be an earring. And it's also a good time for reflection, for starting a meditation practice, for deepening a meditation practice if you've already got something going on. On the sixth of the month, we have got Venus joining the sun in this seventh house of relationships. Lovely Pisceans, this is super romantic. If you're looking for romance, this can be your time. If you're in a relationship, this can bring more peace, more harmony, more joy, more sense of kindness and gentleness and connection. And generally, it's a positive aspect for all your one-on-one -on -one relationships, whether they are business or personal. And on the 10th of the month, we have got a full moon joining Neptune in your sign. This is your half year, if you like. Yeah, it's half a year since you had a birthday and half a year to your next birthday. So this full moon shines a light on you. How do you feel you're doing? What progress have you made? What are the great things you've accomplished? Where would you like to do some more work on? Which areas? This is really shining a light on your needs. Are you paying attention to what your body needs, what your mind needs, what your soul needs? It's very much about soul. What's my soul wanting? It's powerful energies. And are you listening or are you hiding things and just tolerating and making do? Rather than here, it's shining a light and saying, hey, maybe something needs to end, to complete, to change profoundly so that you can begin to find your true identity and direction as you move into this second part of your year. Same date on the 10th, Mercury going retrograde in this eighth house for you. Ooh, this could bring somebody from the past back into your life. Something from your past that you may be able to resolve. Not necessarily physically, it could be on a psychic and emotional level that you can resolve something that's maybe bothered you for a while. Or you get to the bottom of the situation, you find something out and it's like, ooh, this is fascinating. I, I, I didn't know that. So this can be a, a, very, if you, a very good time for gathering information and finding out things that could be of tremendous value. But maybe just for you, or maybe that you could share with others and so they could benefit too. Leave a little extra time if you're traveling somewhere and don't make your plans too rigid uh, because Mercury does rule transportation and travel. Might just slow things down a little. On the 23rd of the month, the sun comes in this eighth house. On the 25th, we've got a lovely new moon. And on the 30th, Venus joins all that lovely party in the eighth house. So the eighth house is asking you, Pisces, to go deep. To look at the things you might not have wanted to look at. To say, all right, what am I avoiding? And let me just 
deal with whatever needs to be dealt with so that I can free myself. It might be psychic, it might be emotional, it might be very old, but it's time for a release and giving you more space for new things to come into your world because this is new opportunities, a new moon. So it could be a new investment, it could be a new partnership, a new partner, a new work situation. Oh, there are so many possibilities here for you, lovely Pisceans. So I wish you a wonderful month and I thank you for liking, commenting, sharing and subbing. Bye for now.